Hey, this is Dave, aka Night of Light, and today I'm going to show you an update on my capture card setup. And I've been getting a lot of PMs on how I get from component to VGA, so I'm just going to give you a really nice, uh, nice tutorial on how to do that. And a few things first. I'm recording off of an iPod Nano, so if like my the screen shakes around a lot, my bad. This thing's kind of hard to hold. And uh, yeah, I like to. Well, I'll start with this first. I usually, well, I play on a monitor just because I really like the response time on this beast. Um, it's, I think, well, it's the uh, ViewSonic, I want to say VX2260, and yeah, there's like no input lag, and the response time is just like amazing. But yeah, I even have a, well, if I use a whole bunch of technical terms on you guys, just like, don't ask me, because, or just look it up, or comment, because I think other people will help you on that. Anyways, um, I don't like to play on this TV. Because it, well, it has component in, but like, there's a lot of ghosting on it, and there's a lot of input lag too. So those are two things working against me on that. So I just much prefer this thing. It's like the holy grail of monitors for me. Like it, it's kind of small and it's really fast. So yeah, um, I'll start by going with my Xbox over here. Um, I have Astros, the mix amp, the headset. I use optical for the the mix amp, and then. For my capture card, I got the, uh, well, these are the default cables that come with your Xbox. You got those flipped to HD, and going around, those are my awesome running shoes, by the way. Yeah. And it, anyways, um, this is the HD PVR. Bam. Um, so obviously the Xbox goes on the in, and then out, these, this cable is actually provided by uh, Hapog, and that's going into this thing. Now this thing I heard about from one of my subscribers, and I told him I'd give him a shout out. So here it goes. Uh, thank you, this guy, Austin, for uh, showing me about this, showing me this. And it's I used to be playing in 480p, and yeah, I think I told you that already. Yeah, I was playing in 480p, and now I'm bumped up to pretty much HD. So yeah, um, this little box thing. I'll have a link in the des the description. New update. Um, a link in the description about this thing. Uh, I forgot what it's called, but it takes your component cables and uh, converts it to VGA, and that's how I get it on uh, my TV now. So, yep, um, this thing like you know those old giant box CRT things, you know, with like had like they're pretty much as long as they were wide. Well, yeah, like it, it, you can even play them on those like. It doesn't have to be a full HD monitor. It can just be, you know, a really crappy monitor that you got from your grandparents or something. So, um, and that's a bad monitor if you get it from your grandparents. But anyways, um, that's how I do that. And then I got my Pog thing, the USB cable, going to my laptop. So, I'm trying not to mess anything up. I'm mousing with my left, or, well, I'm iPodding with my left hand now. Uh, all right, here is my capture settings on the uh, the Hapog capture uh, thing jig. Anyways, um, yep, that's what I capture in. I'll just give a scan on this. Well, I prefer uh, PlayStation just because it's Blu-ray. I think that's like the Blu-ray format. Uh, that's like the Blu-ray format. I'm not positive, but I, don't know, I just for some reason I think the quality is better on that one. You know, you can use whatever you want. But the bad thing about the PlayStation 3 codec is that you can't play it, like you can't edit it in After Effects, or at least like I don't have the patch for it or anything. So, you know, I just use Vegas for pretty much everything. Like I don't put a whole bunch of fancy effects in my videos. It's you know just kind of raw, chill stuff. So, anyways, um, let me open Vegas here. Okay, uh, right there. All right, this is uh what I. Well, my project preferences, which is pretty much what I export at. So I'm just going to give you this here. Um, yeah, a lot of people don't know what this stuff means. And honestly, no, neither do I. But that's what you're supposed to use. Let me go to audio a sec. Uh, right there. I hate this Nano. Well, I'm recording with the Nano right now. It's really hard to hold and stuff. Anyways, going down. Um, yeah, I guess that's pretty much it. Oh, yeah. Um, because this computer is kind of small, or like the hard drive on it is, I actually bought this terabyte hard drive, 
and I don't know, it's really nice to have it as a backup, and you can fit a lot of gameplays on it. Like, you don't have to constantly erase gameplays, so that's pretty handy. So yeah, that's my capture card setup, so uh, please stop sending me PMs on how I do it, and if you have any questions after watching this video, you can go ahead and PM me, because I'm pretty sure you only have like one or two, instead of like a hundred. So yeah, um, please, I guess it's like now, please like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks.